Witch of Endor is also known as a biblical medium of Endor. According to legend, she was a medium who apparently summoned the prophet Samuel's spirit. She is also known from the Old Testament but became a part of other traditions too. The Witch of Endor became an important legend for Judaism, Christianity and pagan spiritual practitioners. She appears as one of the most mysterious people described in the Old Testament in the first book of Samuel, chapter 28, 3 to 25. She also appears in the Jewish book of Sirach 46:19 to 20. She's called a woman who has a familiar spirit at Endor in the biblical Hebrew language. She's not named in the passages, but in the rabbinical tradition, she was perhaps the mother of Abner, Saul's cousin and commander-in-chief of his army. She could have been Sedelka, the daughter of a priest of Madian. Her name was connected with the Canaanite village Endor. which was located in the Jezreel Valley in Lower Galilee, Israel. Saul was a legendary first king of the United Kingdom of Israel and Judah. His reign is tentatively dated to the late 11th century BC. Both Saul and the witch of Endor appear as historical persons, not just legends. It is said in the Bible that when Samuel died, his body was buried in Rama, 5 miles northwest of Jerusalem. The new king of Israel was Saul. He looked to God's wisdom to choose the right path in his struggle with the Philistines. He wanted to solve the problem and take action against their assembled forces. But Saul didn't receive any answers from his dreams. The prophets he asked are other places. He asked all the possible necromancers and magicians who lived in and around his well. He was also looking for a person who was a strong medium. Finally, he discovered the existence of a woman who lived in Endor. She claimed that she could see the ghost of Samuel. As the Bible says, then said Saul unto his servants, Seek me a woman that hath a familiar spirit, that I might go to her and enquire of her. And his servants said to him, Behold, there is a woman that hath a familiar spirit at Endor. And Saul disguised himself and put on other raiment, and he went, and two men with him. And they came to the woman by night, and he said, I pray thee, divine unto me. by familiar spirit and bring me him up whom i shall name unto thee and the woman said unto him behold thou knowest what Saul hath done how he hath cut off those that have familiar spirits and the wizards out of the land wherefore then layest thou a snare for my life to cause me to die the ghost first complained of being disturbed but with time he started to collaborate with the witch of endor He left a prophecy saying that Saul was going to perish with his army in a battle the next day. Saul was shocked, but he decided not to listen to the words of the ghost. The witch of Endor tried to cheer him up, but perhaps hoped that he would listen to the wise ghost. Unfortunately, Saul decided to attack the enemy and his army was defeated. After the battle, the king committed suicide. The story of the witch of Endor survived through the Jews Christians and pagans. Her story was celebrated in the medieval Jewish text Yalkot Shimoni, but also appeared in many Christian texts. For centuries, the bishops debated about the theological reasons for the prophecy of his story. The most worrying was the cause of using magic by the women. In the 2nd century BC, they described her as a ventriloquist. which perhaps reflected the trend of the Alexandrian translators who was responsible for describing the story the base of all the stories seemed to be the cow and Samuel sought to her by the Lord saying as the Lord liveth there shall no punishment happen to thee for this thing then said the woman whom shall i bring up unto thee and he said bring me up Samuel and when the woman saw Samuel she cried with a loud voice and the woman spoke to Saul saying Why hast thou deceived me for thou art Saul and the king said unto her be not afraid for what saw thou and the woman said unto Saul i saw god's ascending out of earth and he said unto her what form is he of and she said an old man cometh up and he is covered with a mantle and Saul perceived that it was Samuel and he stooped with his face to the ground and bowed himself According to Josephus who lived in the 1st century the story was completely credible The story of the witch of Endor was also interesting for Martin Luther and John Calvin 
who mentioned her in their works. In some medieval works, the author wondered if she was a demon. For pagans, she became an example of an ancient witch. The Witch of Endor became a popular motive for fans of fantasy, art, and many people related to religious and non-religious trends. She is known as one of the first legendary women connected with witchcraft. Some specialists in religion suggest that she could have also considered a prophet. Her story influenced the imagination of many artists and writers. Throughout the ages, many things have been inspired by the legendary witch. New version of the story have also appeared quite often. For example, in the 16th century, the writer Guillermo de Bartas suggested in his influential poem about the creation of the world, La Simine, that the witch of Endor used as flambeo made from the fat of her own son in the necromantic arts. She also appears in a number of other tales, novels and poems. The Witch of Endor was honored with a special place in the Star Wars saga as well. The planet where evokes live is called Endor. Thanks for watching. If you like to see more content, make sure to like, comment and subscribe.